However, they have an obligation to demand accountability from government. When it comes to the delivery of basic education, whether it is free or not, it is there are taxes that make education free. And by, by being free, does not preclude them or does not deny them of the opportunity or the right to demand accountability how, how when can, things do not go right. How can that be done? We have the PT Association, we have parents who may show interest. For example, in your presentation, as you wrap up in two minutes, you make reference to the Get Fund issues. We know the Get Fund has been collateralized. Government is raising money for infrastructure projects, for example. If that is not being done, how can me, poor parent, or under any umbrella, hold government accountable after four years? The concept of civil society is not built on the existence of NGOs and think tanks. It is built on the existence of the culture of civic participation and involvement in our governance. We are only mobilizers. We only mobilize opinions. But parents should see themselves as part of the collective, as individuals having a role to play in demanding accountability, as people concerned that the lack of their participation in the civic space will reduce quality of service delivery in the democratic dispensation. Bear in mind, bear in mind that parents will hit the street and protest against increasing transport fares. The last time I saw parents hit the streets in Sunyani or so, protest against increase in um, transport fares and other I think bad, bad, roads, and so bad roads in their community. I told a colleague of mine then, a, a parliamentarian, that have you seen parents protesting in Sunyani? He said, yes. I am looking for the day, looking forward to the day when parents will hit the streets and demand test booths for their children. Two years after the rollout of a new curriculum and schools operating without test books, parents are not interested in fighting for the education of their children. They are rather interested in enjoying it free and keeping quiet because it's free. We don't complain. So we need a lot of enlightenment within the citizenry, especially within the class that enjoys free public services, especially the lower class. If we strengthen their involvement in governance of education, even at a school level, you will see PTAs organizing press conferences and making the case that two years of delay in the release of capitation grant is killing the management of our schools. But if PTAs, and don't forget they are parents, if parents at the community level, at the school level, are not ready to speak out, then CSOs cannot do all the work for them. And so we need parents.